A crime alert and a major break from this picture. Two men believed to be casing a local neighborhood. Tenders reporter Rachel Bianco joins us live from Santee. And Rachel, it turns out that a Facebook post may have exposed this whole thing. Steve, we're on Pebble Beach Drive where people first started reported seeing this van that they thought was suspicious. They posted a picture of it and the guys driving around in it on the East County Emergency Updates Facebook page. That helped lead to an arrest and could possibly lead to new information about a bigger crime spree. Come, babies. Michael Burgett's dogs love to get out. They always get feet. He uses his minivan to take them hiking. Otherwise, it stays parked here on the street. That's why he didn't realize someone had swiped his license plate until he got a call from the sheriff's department. Oh, how is that a sad man? I just knew I was going to go to DMV. Burkett's van looks almost identical to the one posted on this East County Facebook page. Neighbors say two guys appeared to be casing homes off of Pebble Beach Drive. A woman got a picture of them and the license plate. So on, on Washington uh, Channel 10 News, they said they caught the guys. That's when Burkett realized his stolen plates are part of a bigger crime spree. This van was stolen from an elderly man in El Cajon. Deputies spotted the van Friday afternoon about a mile from Burkett's home. They arrested Jonathan Pasco, pictured here on a long list of charges, including vehicle theft, receiving stolen property, and illegal use of tear gas. It's unclear if any of the stolen property is from homes in this neighborhood. Detectives say this is still an open investigation. You can see Pasco's Facebook page. He talks about thug life being the motivation of the future. This was just hours before his arrest. He will be in court on Wednesday. Reporting live in Santee, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.